<laughs> you know, that's kind of fun. But I think there's some more stuff we can do with this. There's got to be another dimension to these quadcopters than just axial rolls and flips and, and cyclones. There's got to be something else. Now, I have a lot of fun flying this quad, but you're not going to see me flying this over this big pond here. Now this, this quadcopter, this is going to add a whole new dimension to flying. I don't have to worry if this thing hits the water, if my battery goes down. It floats. Look at that. Even if I cut the throttle and I'm about six, ten feet up in the air, no problem. Look at this. Completely submerged, comes right back up, and I can take right off again. Now not only am I not worried to fly over water, which is fun, but now I can do other different things. I could have a camera on here. So now I could put this in the water and actually motor around and get video right at the water surface. Or if I wanted to, I could attach my camera on the bottom, have the camera submerged and get some underwater footage. having a lot of fun actually doing some really low level water flying with it. So I'm flying, I've got it hovering and I'm kind of skimming the surface and you can see the prop wash is uh, pushing down on the water. It's actually quite fun to do that. are a blast to fly. Now even if you're not going to be flying over water or landing in the water and taking off from it, I still think that these are a great kind of frame to have. One of the things I had a lot of fun with these, uh, which you saw at the end of the video, was going to a skate park and going to different trails and parking lots and sliding this around on the ground. Now you're not going to want to do that with a different kind of quadcopter frame. These frames are made out of very durable material and you could pretty much slide them around all day long on the ground and it's not going to hurt anything. Now, not only are they super durable, but they're very easy to assemble. The frames pretty much are going to come glued, all glued together. So all you have to do is slide in your electronics, screw on your motors, and you're ready to go. Now compare that to a different quadcopter kit that's going to come in a whole bunch of different little pieces that you've got to screw together and get everything right. You're going to spend hours just assembling the frame itself, where when you get this one, nothing to it. It's already assembled. Another thing that's popular to do with aircraft in general, and of course quadcopters these days, is to put uh, cool looking LED lights on your quad frame 
and fly it at night and freak people out and make them think they're seeing a UFO. Now with these frames, it makes it really easy to add lights. All you gotta do is slide it right inside, stick it down, and it's gonna look really nice because of the uh, clear frame, the light sort of shines around all inside. Now when you go to aquacopters.com, you're gonna see several different frame options there. And uh, these are a couple of them right here. Of course, uh, this one is polycarbonate, which is a nice, tough, durable material. And another one here is a frame made out of Kydex. It's a kind of a, a plastic, and this stuff is super durable. So go to the website, aquacopters.com, check them out. They got a lot of neat quads they're building and uh, more to come on the way too. Now, as I was working with aquacopters to uh, sort of get these frames ready for the market, um, I was having a lot of fun, and I sort of had some of my own ideas for frames as well. So uh, here's a little, a little sneak peek of uh, what's going to be coming up in the next video. But uh, I had the guys at Aquacopters um, work on my particular frame design. It was a certain shape that I thought might be kind of cool. So here's a little sneak peek. Um, here's the here's frame that I'm working on. And in the next video, you guys are going to get to see that one flying around. So stay tuned for more quadcopter fun.